Welcome to part 2 of building your own WYSIWYG or rich text editor in Flash Action Script 3. When we left off in part 1, we were able to get our bolding functionality working well. You see it bolds out nice. But if we try and highlight that again and unbold it, no dice. It just doesn't work. It'll bold other sections out if they're not bolded yet but we want to make sure it unbolts so what we're going to have to do is program some uh, logic into the button function and that's what I'll show you how to do so here's the code we left off with to make it bold and what we want to do first is add a a default bold format so let's put that right above this format so we got format bold Let's call this one format def bold for default bold. Change that to default bold and then this to false. That way it will switch it back when we put in our, our logic here. So that's the first step. Now the second step is to go into this function sense text selection and right here before we add the event listener for this function we're going to add <coughs> a couple of variables that are going to hold these two values the value of input text fields selection begin index and the input field selection end index so let's make the first one var sbi that'll be selection begin index and this is a number variable and it's going to be equal to this right here. Let's grab that selection begin index of the input field, whatever the user has selected. And then we'll do the same for the selection end index. So we'll say SEI selection end index is equal to selection end index. You see there? So now we have these number variables that we were gathering in part one in nice little variables that we can use here in this little conditional that I'm going to set up. And this is so that there's no reporting error thrown. So let's say if because you would get a reporting error in this uh, function when you try and do what I'm about to do here if you don't set it up in a conditional like this so we'll say if SBI is not equal to SEI so what that means is if the user take would happen to take their cursor and click inside of the text field the input text field the sense text selection function would happen and it would throw a reporting error when SBI and SB, SEI are equal. When the selection bin, begin index and the selection end index say they're both 5 because the user hasn't clicked and dragged over to highlight any text yet. So that would have thrown an error so we had to put that in. So we say right inside of here we make a variable and we're going to call this section just to make it make good sense and what this is going to be is let's see text format this is going to be equal to the input fields grab that get text format so that way we can read how the text is formatted to do things accordingly. And the the bold button will have a kind of like a toggle functionality when we get done with it. So here we put SBI and SBE as the two arguments here that are needed. SBI SEI 
so it's getting the text format of you know just the section that the user happens to have highlighted that's all that that's doing right there it grabs the section and then we can read whether things are bolded whether they're underlined or italicized it knows and it will tell us so what we do is we just check for that section here so let's go actually right here you could trace I'll just put a trace here if you guys want to run it to see what it what information it delivers to you you can and it'll deliver true or false whether it's bolded or not so you just run that trace on the section to see if it's bolded right there so since we know we can get those kind of values now we can put some brains into this function here so let's grab this whole button function for the make bold exit or control exit out of there and then we're going to put it inside of this conditional where SBI does not equal SEI okay so now we can place an if conditional inside of this very easily here to do what we need we'll say if set up a nest Oops. go down there's my if nest and let's just get the else in there too because it's going to be an if and else condition so the first part will be if it is not bold make it bold and then if it is we'll use our format default bold and make it false so that'll un unbold it so make sure we get that correct name in here format default bold and the condition is going to be if selection that bold like on that trace actually I'm going to comment out that trace because I don't want it to run but I'm going to grab that if selection dot bold is equal to false then we run the that means if it's not bolded we run the format bold and if it is which the else would come into play then we unbold it and I think that's all we need in that let's see if it works good no errors so that means it should let's try it let me highlight this section right there actually let me highlight this section between two words and bold it now let's see if I highlight the same section and unbold it look at that okay so if I bold that whole section and I just want these four unbolded that works it's good I want some in the middle unbolded see so it works beautifully now that will give you all of the logic that you need to really make a uh, a smart editor rich text editor and you can now expand upon it and I'm just gonna roll fast on this one I'm gonna go and get everything done because I want to use it at the forums on my site so there's a nice clean function that senses text selection and inside of it we see if they have dragged and highlighted a section and if they have we make the section var then we can use that section var to make things bold or italicize or underline whether they are already or not that's what that all means and I hope you uh, were able to grasp what I just did there it wasn't very uh, technical it's just saying you know if this happens to equal bold then we're gonna make it not bold and the way you sense if it is bold or not is you grab the section bar and you see if it's bold attribute has a value of false or true or not and then you can run things 
whether or not it's true or false and uh, it, it might be a little tricky but hopefully you can wrap your brain around it that way you can replicate and do the same kind of things and all you would need to do is add uh, <clears throat> right here you make a new listener for italicizing or underlining and a new function that would be function make underline and same thing if and else condition inside of that function that would say if it's underlined then uh, take the underline away if it's not underlined put an underline in same thing okay so we'll see you in part three not sure when that'll be but it'll be soon